back in the old days, we'd say this flank had to be at 45 degrees. What's wrong with that? Come around, come around, come around, come around. What's wrong with that? He's holding my props backside him, but what's wrong with that? He's not pushing forward. That's his spine going that way. That's this gentleman. Are you okay there? Can I have that ball for a second? Imagine that this flanker, you're looking through the tunnel, yes? I'm the opposition first five eight. You tell me when you can't see me anymore. Do you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yes? Yeah, I can see you there. Yeah, tell me, keep looking through the tunnel. Tell me when you can't. Not really there. Okay, now come and tackle me. Okay, normally three steps, full steps, before both his hips face me. Just then, so now you're a bit straighter. We lock his bump backside in with our necks. Come on up, like that. Okay, you happy there? Tell me when you can't see me anymore. Yep. Okay, come and tackle me. Generally two steps. So we make about, what, three, four metres there. So as a support player, or a defend, defensive player, it makes more sense that we have more vision to go and defend or support. And the other thing is, you're giving my prop more power through his spine. So we lock it in with our necks, is how we lock that prop's backside in. Does that make sense? 